Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday morning. I woke up at 11 because I went to bed at like 3 in the morning after tennis, 2 to 3, and well, it's just, <laughs> I feel like if I wake up really late, close to 12, then I feel so groggy afterwards, but also my landlord is getting some plumbing done to his back place. He has like a little, I don't know, guest house kind of thing behind this main house that he's living in. and. I think he's having plumbing issues so he has people doing plumbing so they were kind of like banging on stuff in the morning and then tomorrow he actually texted me that I can't use the water all day and I mean I will happily try to accommodate that it's just that 9 30 a.m. to 4 30 p.m. I can't use water like I can't flush the toilet because I drink a lot of water and then I won't be able to use water if I want to cook or anything so I kind of have to in terms of the cooking, I can make a lot of stuff today and then I'll heat it up tomorrow, but not being able to flush the toilet, like I would feel a little weird about um, peeing a lot and leaving it there because that's kind of that's kind of gross, but I mean, if it's just for one day, that might be okay and then I could just clean my toilet afterwards, make sure I clean my toilet. But anyways, I also got a package today. <clears throat> So, for the people that have been following me for a couple days or weeks, I, I, I am kind of obsessed with making sure Riley is really focused on when she's chewing on something. So when I decided to buy the deer antler, I kind of had a feeling that it would be like her other toys where they would be lying around and she would play with it a little bit but not as intently as if I gave her a raw bone or if I gave her a bully stick that she really focused on chewing for 30 minutes to an hour and I liked seeing that. I don't, I, I feel like if she just kind of like sniffs at it, chews at it for like two minutes and then discards it, she's not really into it. And honestly, I have not been someone who has bought many toys for her. Like in the past, maybe I bought like three toys for her, but I'm not that person that has like 20 toys, a whole toy box and everything like that. So I I don't know, I didn't think it was really necessary. Um, she has always been the type of person that kind of plays with a toy for a tiny bit and then isn't interested. Um, she was never really into tug. I don't know if I was able to teach her properly how to play it and she was kind of like, if you take the rope away from her, she looks like she's hurt and that she doesn't want to play anymore. So, um, anyways, I bought a bulk amount of braided bully sticks yesterday because I was like, you know what, I like it when she chews and she's focused and she's really into it and I want to be able to give that to her. So I decided that I'll eat the cost, it'll be part of dog ownership and I'll try to make sure that I give her a few every single week. and. I'm very curious to see how long they last because that is really important to me. I don't want to, ideally I don't want to spend, you know, a good amount of money on a bully stick and it won't last very long, so <sighs> who knows though, I think she's very good at chewing. So here's what I got. Interesting, it came in a pouch that I didn't expect. Oh, oops, that's the back. This is the front. They're pretty tall, they're 11 to 12 inches, and they seem like they are braided with three bully sticks. But the problem with bully sticks at times, which sucks, is that they are very random. I mean, that's that should be pretty obvious, that all of the sticks will end up being random. So I already noticed that some of these are thick, and one of them is very skinny, but maybe the content of the bully stick itself will still allow her to chew on that one for a long time. I think this is a 10 pack and it costed me $55. So it is definitely not cheap. I just got my groceries delivered from Ralph's. I pretty much put in my order last night um, because I wanted to make sure I had everything and it was getting kind of late so they weren't going to deliver anymore, but I scheduled it for between 12 to 1, it's a little bit before 12, but honestly, I pay an extra $6 for service fees and 
There is also a little bit of annoyance because they don't give you free delivery until you put in like say $20 of a certain category or $15 or $25. So it does at times force you to buy things that you normally wouldn't. So every time I have to get free shipping, I try my best to make sure that it is stuff I need. Even if I'm buying something I usually eat in bulk, I try to just do that to make sure I get free shipping. Otherwise, shipping would be $6 and it would become a total cost of $12 added on that I don't normally need. But I got rotisserie chicken. So I actually need to eat that right now since, you know, you have to eat the chicken when it's fresh and best. But I gotta put all the stuff away now. Hello. I finished my workout, it's almost two o'clock, and I feel great. Um, the reason I wanted to do my workout early is because today is a lot of watching again. Rafael and the dolls play at four o'clock, and then there might be finals for Dota. I'm not sure if I'm watching that, dependent on who's playing, but it's kind of, it's going to be chilly this weekend in the 60s. Um, it is still sunny, so I did walk her earlier, but <laughs> I don't know. I'm not really sure if I feel like walking her later. I might just, you know, do my wrestling with her. She gets pretty tired from that. But this is my post-workout Lucky Charms. Mmm. Oh, crap. Oh, wow. It's getting soggy already. But yeah, aside from that, I'm about to play some Dota. Hopefully, we win today. All right, and a quick update about my book. So with this one, sorry. All right, I'm gonna mute my computer really quick because Steam notifications are pretty loud. But um, this book is definitely taking me longer. Um, I think it's also because it is a bit more of a read where you really need to focus. Um, they introduce a lot of characters and Sometimes it can be hard to follow which character they're talking about just by name because they introduce so many and there's a lot of stuff going on. Another aspect of this book is just that it makes me so sad because you read about how the Osage Indians get murdered and then people would try to investigate but they would just run into so many dead ends because people are killing off witnesses, killing off people that know about what may have happened or who is responsible for it. And it makes me so sad to hear about how we come and take over their land, then we murder them for their wealth, then we just, it's just insane. And pe people are dying because people are putting bombs under their houses. Like, I don't know, can you imagine how fucked it is for the Osage Indians to just, they're just minding their own business and people are messing with them and it, it infuriates me to read about it that I feel like it's hard for me to read it for too long without getting frustrated. I'm about halfway into the book right now and it's definitely a good book. I just think that maybe with the subject matter, I don't know, maybe the way it's written, it can be hard for me to read this for several hours at once. So usually I would just read it while I'm watching tennis in between or like Dota where there's downtime drafting and in between the matches stuff like that but I am definitely enjoying this book yeah I guess after this I am also going to be starting Bear Town and then once I'm done with that one I'm going to need more suggestions so if anybody knows of a book that they really recommend please let me know all right let's get started and I also have my young self watching over me as I play. I probably need to put this in a better place. It's kind of, sometimes I feel like there's just so much stuff accumulates on my desk and I don't really like it, but it's better than most people, I guess. Oh God, I'm not very good at this. <clears throat> oh gosh, I forgot that these smell kind of bad. It's kind of what they look like. Let's get, get one out. Okay, this is the full thing, three braided bully sticks. And right now it is 4.30, so we're going to see 
how long this takes her. Good girl. Mm-mm. <laughs> Okay, good girl. Awesome. Wow, now the cats are surrounding her. <laughs> this is my dinner. Potato, zucchini, spinach, and there's chicken underneath rotisserie. So since I am going to be without water tomorrow, I needed to make sure that I have food to heat up so I don't need to use water to, I don't know, clean bowls or prepare stuff. And this is what I am left with. This is pretty good actually. It will encourage me to eat them the next few days and this is healthy. So I'm very much looking forward to diving in. I have some chicken legs that are freaking delicious and then the rest, oh, there's chicken breast. I really don't like chicken breast, but ah, it's good. That's all right. <laughs> Always looking so serious. Hello. I finished watching my movie. It was called The Dark Valley. I watched that movie because the actress in there is from France. F-R-A-N-T-Z, in case people don't know what the hell I'm saying. And I loved her in France, so I decided to check out her filmography and found this movie. Um, it's like a German Western, <laughs> and it's a revenge movie. Um, it started off pretty good and interesting. I just think maybe the second half uh, could have been better. The movie could definitely have been much better, but I would give it a four out of five because it's better than average. But right now, Nadal is playing and I have some food. Triple, <laughs> triple slice of bread with peanut butter. And then I have uh, a granola bar for afterwards. I really like this, watching, watching tennis and then reading in between and then eating and just relaxing, it's just, it feels so great. And uh, I have a lot of confidence that he's going to move on to the next round because he's playing super solid right now. Big difference from Maria yesterday. Yeah, I've been home all Saturday and I've been having a good day. So hopefully uh, tomorrow will be similar with no water. Although I might consider just going out and trying to do something for most of the day so I don't have to think about not using my water. So maybe I will. So I'm here with my little one, Milo. And originally, I was just going to get Riley on camera while she was sleeping on the couch and snuggle with her a little bit. But she is, she's a funny one because dogs are really perceptive. So they really start to learn patterns and one specific pattern that she learned was that um, I tend to not like to wear pants when I'm home because I find them restricting and I feel like you just feel free with just underwear on. And I live by myself, so it doesn't matter that I don't wear pants. But the thing is, in the past, I guess at my previous apartment, the routine was usually if I'm about to take her out to pee, I would put on pants, right? So every single time I put on pants now, or if I like put on more layers or more clothes, she thinks we're going out. And it's kind of funny too, because earlier I just wanted to put some shorts on, so, I, <laughs> so I'm not filming myself in underwear. And she got off the couch and she thought we were going out and we're not going out, so she's, Ah, she displaced herself from being comfortable and I actually do wonder if she will start to unlearn um, that routine because usually when I go out it's like dark 
we're out for like 10 seconds while she goes to pee and I really don't like putting on pants for those 10 seconds so I try to like hide and stay in the shadows you know so people don't see me in the light but <laughs> it's just really cool to see how they really really notice all of these habits that you have so they really learn and it's it's super cool but sometimes for a situation like this it's funny and a little bit unnecessary hi you didn't need to get off the couch always staring at me and she stares deep into your soul too plus the fact that she has dark eyes sometimes it's weird looking at her because you're just staring deep at like black eyes and it feels like you get lost in them right you know i actually really prefer the brown over the blue eyes for some reason i think the brown adds a subtlety that i think is really pretty i don't think riley would be as pretty if she had blue eyes so i personally like the brown most people like to go for the blue cats i don't understand cats right He's just in that pose looking like he's alert, wanting to hunt or something. Oh yeah, a word of advice for people who have never gotten cats before. Something to consider if you are thinking of getting one. Long-haired cats surprisingly have so many issues that I didn't really think of. I don't tend to do my research before I get a pet. I admit this, I'm very irresponsible when it comes to that. So I don't research like what annoying things happens when you get a long haired cat. So with Milo, like some of the things that happens is he gets hair tumors where basically the long hair, like him licking it, I guess after a while it starts getting tangled together. So right now he has, he has one like on the right side that I need to cut off and it is kind of sucky that it happens because it ends up getting tangled very close to his skin so it's kind of freaky but aside from that he also gets shit stuck on his ass and that one really sucks because you might not even know it's there and then he kind of just waddles by and then there's like awful smell in the air and you know it's him it's always him <laughs> so that happens or i think he's like he thinks he's royalty or something because if the box is slightly dirty compared to his standards i think he takes that opportunity to shit on top of my box so i have a top entry litter box and he shits on the lid and this morning he left like a pretty watery like soft shit sitting on the top and he somehow got some of it on the top of his tail and he was carrying that smell around walking around the house with it and it was so disgusting and this is kind of common so if I don't scoop daily he ends up shitting on the top and then I smell it and it just smells very awful so if you have a long-haired cat, they are... Oh! Oh, sorry, I just... Uh, he got up and was walking around and his tail lifted up and I thought I saw something dark under there. Could have been poop. But yeah, so the poop ends up getting stuck on his butt hair and then it dries up and then it, it gets really hard to pull off. You kind of have to like cut the hair off. So maybe tomorrow or tonight if i'm not lazy i'm gonna like grab a bunch of hair and i'm gonna just fucking chop it off i don't care if he looks pretty or not in fact sometimes i feel like just like cutting the hair around his head so it's like super short so he can't get get it caught because like right now if i pull his hair out like if i pull his hair out like this he looks like full on like a lion it's kind of funny and I'm surprised it grew that long. I don't think it used to be that way. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna be heading into the draft very soon, but I think at this point, we just have to throw the EG book out the window. You cannot predict what they're gonna be going for. They are Did going you for. ever know somebody? Try to 